Well, here's what I have for you this week. Every nonprofit pregnancy center relies on fundraising to both fuel and accomplish your mission. Large or small, center directors are always looking for more effective ways to raise money and improve donor retention. Fundraising effectiveness is an ongoing, evolving, and challenging reality. To your advantage, the folks at the Fundraising Effectiveness Project took time to dig into the nonprofit fundraising data, and over time, they have provided rich insights that can help your center evolve your fundraising efforts. Here's a couple of insights that came from the 2000 2012 Fundraising Effectiveness Project. You can grab the full report and view the Fundraising Effectiveness infographic by clicking the link that I give you. The keys that come from this report are this. Donor retention. Focus on keeping the donors that you already have. Since 2005, donor acquisition has been tough. We all know that. Donors that used to give to your center continue to decline. But the light at the end of the tunnel is the fact that annual giving per donor is on the rise. Annual giving by donors isn't growing like Apple stock, but it's enough to help us understand that donor retention is critical to the long-term fundraising effectiveness. It's a well-known fact that it's cheaper to keep an existing donor than it is to find and cultivate and add a new one. The key point to remember is this. Keep your donor retention strategies laser focused. Do everything you can possibly do to keep your current donors happy. Secondly, I think this report shows that you should focus on people, not companies and corporations for new donor acquisition. Sadly, the economy is slipping and corporate giving took a big dive recently, but individual giving to nonprofit orgs continues to increase steadily. The tough economic times over the past few years is a huge contributing factor to why companies all of a sudden started pulling back. Key point you take from this is that you need to take time to get to know your individual donors and their networks. That's where long-term fundraising effectiveness lies in 2015. And another key point is to use the internet to aid your efforts. I'd like to focus your attention on how and why you need to focus your efforts online. Majority of giving still comes from offline channels, but online fundraising continues to be a significant source of acquiring new donors online. In fact, the dominant giving channel for for new donors, 64 years older and younger, is online. Plus, revenue and household income for online acquired donors is significantly higher than for offline acquired donors. The trend to Toward online fundraising is an important one to pay attention to, and here's why. It has become increasingly common for new donors to give their first gift online. In aggregate, online acquired donors have much more cumulative value over the long term than traditional mail acquired donors. Every year, large proportions of online acquired donors switch from online giving to offline sources, primarily to direct mail. Thus, your mail list will also become even more important this year. In fact, from the study that goes back to 2011, 87% of the organizations had at least one online gift of $1,000 or more. The median online gift was $1,000. Some were even as high as $1,200. 43% of these donations were between $1,000 and $5,000. So here's what you need to do. To maximize online giving, your center needs to create an engaging donor site, not just a donor link on your website. First, this gives potential donors different but easy ways to give online. Secondly, it ensures that all donation points on your website are secure. Three, it uses community impact statements and testimonials to emotionally connect donors. And four, use video to sell your center to the donor. I give you a good example over at withopenarms.com donations. If you need help maximizing your fundraising online, give me a call at 903-926-2607. Ask about our donor site, Web Solutions for Centers. Doing the good work that you're doing, you are making a difference and the other side just can't stand it. Thanks for listening to the Monday Minute.